Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and we're here with another, another Sunday sew along and uh, normally we had a tutorial last week and normally that would mean I would be starting a sew along today but I'm not because I'm waiting on uh, footage from my sister. Um, our next sew along is the Monty shirt dress by Style Art Patterns and I'm actually making one for my sister because I already have one in my closet and she um, really loved it and wanted one of her own. So um, and I also wanted to use a lighter fabric that'd be easier for you guys to kind of see as I was sewing it up. So she picked out the fabric and I wanted to get uh, footage of her actually in it and um, just when I'm going to be able to see her next to get that footage I needed to do another tutorial week. So you will see the Monty shirt dress part one goes up next week and I'm going to show footage of her in the dress on week one. I'm going to start changing that up for sew alongs and then you can also see it again at the end. So hopefully that helps you guys decide if you want to make the pattern or not. All right, so for today, I have made out of this gorgeous uh, Minerva Rayon Chalet. I am a brand ambassador for Minerva, which means um, I get gifted fabric from them, I get sent fabric to make something out of, and then I um, post about it on their site. Um, I have a profile over there and it is linked down below in the description box. But I got this gorgeous Rayon Chalet and I knew that I wanted to make uh, this simplicity dress. Can't remember the number right here. <laughs> Is it 8875 or 8775? I can't remember, but it'll be right here. Um, and I bought that in a haul not that long ago. And when I purchased it, I had a lot of requests for how do you do a full bust adjustment on that type of bodice because it is an ampere waist dress. So this, there's a seam line right underneath the bust and then it's got gathers for the bust shaping as opposed to darts. Now, if you have a large bust, you know that an ampere waist, you know, a seam right underneath the chest can be disastrous because if you have large boobs, that seam can very easily end up right in the middle of your boobs as opposed to underneath them like it's supposed to be, which just throws obviously the fit off completely. So I had a lot of requests on how I would do a full bust adjustment for that. So that is what I'm showing you today. Now on this pattern, I am, I've shortened the, um, I'll actually pop some footage of me in it here and I'll do it again at the end. But um, I went ahead and shortened the skirt by three inches I'm 5'2", and that's just something I commonly need to do with commercial patterns. And I actually also um, took in the uh, the shoulder three, or no, full inch. I took it in a full inch, both on the front and the back, obviously, so that that would match. Those are the only alterations other than the full bust adjustment that I had made to this pattern. So um, I'm actually not only showing you the full bust adjustment, but I'm showing how I did the narrow shoulder adjustment um, on the front as well, which is exactly, you would do the same thing on the back, obviously, to make those match. So um, yeah, that's all the alterations I've done on this pattern. Okay, I hope this is helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I do have a coffee account that's linked down below. It's like a virtual tip jar. Um, it just helps, you know, purchase supplies and equipment and stuff for the channel, especially when it comes to the tutorials and the sew-alongs. Um, everything from that goes right back into the channel, so appreciate it if you uh, can and are willing to help. That would be great. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for today, guys. I will be back next week. Um, well, for the regular videos, but then next Sunday we'll be back for week one of our Monty shirt dress sew along. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye. Okay, so here's the bodice for Simplicity 8875. Um, I'm making a couple of other alterations to this pattern, but they're very simple. I'm shortening the skirt of the um, dress by three inches, which is standard for me. I'm only 5'2". And I have also am going to be doing a... Um, three quarters of an inch narrow shoulder adjustment. And um, I mean, I can show you how to do that on this too, but the primary vision or primary reason for this video is to do a full bust adjustment. So um, if you've looked at the um, line drawings, this little piece here comes right up underneath the bust and then the skirt falls. So it's an ampere waist basically right underneath the bust. But if you've got a large chest, you know how important it is for this seam to hit underneath your bust and not on your bust because that's the way all on pure waist ready to wear are if you have a large bust. Um, I know you, you large busted ladies out there understand what I mean. Okay. So first things first, we're going to do a full bust adjustment on this dress. So the, all the bust shaping comes in the form of gathers that are here at the bottom and we are going to rotate it. We're going to create a dart and then rotate the dart into this, um, gathering here. So you'll just be gathering more into the skirt. So, um, and I'll talk a little bit about um, the skirt, which is a piece you're going to want to um, fit to you as, you know, obviously you want it to fit the top. We'll talk about that as soon as we've done the full bust adjustment. Um, notice I've not done anything with the shoulder yet, though. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is a full bust adjustment, and then I will mess with the shoulder. Um, and then I do the same narrow shoulder adjustment on the back. That's the only thing I've done to the back piece, and that's all that I am altering on this. Okay, so a lot of times with patterns, there is a, um, well, it looks like a circle, and then it'll have like an X in it, like a, a plus sign in it. Um, you'll usually find that at like the bust point, um, usually sometimes the waist measurement and the hip measurement on patterns. This one does not have it. And my assumption is because there's not a dart. Um, and because there's not a dart, it's a little bit, you know, you can get away with, you know, just being in the general area. Chances are, and I'm just making assumptions here, this um, notch here at the side is for the bust. So if we come across, and I'm coming across straight in line here, I'm actually going to extend my grain line. It's always nice just to have a nice long grain line here. Okay, I'm also using a pen so you guys can hopefully see it better. Okay, just, just extended my grain line. All right, so here is gonna be my bust line. Right here across the edge of the pattern and we can go ahead and I'll just make a line. Okay, so there's my bust. Basically, we wanna find a point somewhere in between because the gathers are in between your notches here. So, I mean, the bust point, honestly, is probably right in between. So if we just kind of walk this, or you can eyeball it. But if you walked this, do, 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 do. that's like six and a half. So if you wanted to go like three and a quarter-ish, if you wanted to get real particular, I'm making the size 14 too, by the way. We're just gonna say right about there. So we're gonna mark our bus point right here. Okay, so right here is gonna be my bus point. That may be over a little bit, but you know, we're just, again, general idea. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be our bus point right there. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just like if I were doing a full bust adjustment, I'm gonna draw a line up to the notch here at the underarm to that point. Now this would be like the apex. I'm gonna mark in five eighths of an inch here because we'll use that as a, a, a point. And because I don't really care where my dart is, I'm just gonna use this line that I drew straight from the um, notch here. And then I'm gonna come down parallel to my grain line, right there, which is roughly in the center of our gathers. All right, so there's my lines. I'm going up to the point, from the point to the armhole, coming in the 5 eighths of an inch, and then from the point to the side seam, somewhere, it can be anywhere. Um, we also want to make a line because this piece is going to shift down and we're going to need to be able to shift this down a little bit as well. So I'm just going to make, oh, we'll just pick, I'm going to go right above this circle. And you want it to be perpendicular to your grain line. This doesn't need to go all the way across. It just needs like that's fine, just to come that way. You just need to be able to match it up once you have um, done all your cutting. Okay, also notice I haven't cut this out all the way, just give me some wiggle room. So I'm gonna first start at the bottom and I'm gonna cut up to our point. I'm cutting through it and then I'm gonna cut up to the armhole. And I'm gonna stop at that seam allowance. And now we're making hinge points. So now I'm gonna cut from the side seam to the bust point, but I'm gonna stop just short of it so I've got a little bit of a hinge. And then the same, cut some of this excess away. I'm gonna cut down through the seam allowance right to that spot and then stop. Two hinge points, okay. So there we have it. And then we will be cutting this here in just a second. Actually, if you want to, we can go ahead and cut that off. So you can just cut that line we made. 
just keep it or in the same orientation. It makes life a little bit easier. All right, now I'm just going to tape this down. Okay, let's talk about sizes real quick. So I um, am a 36 upper bust, and so I pick my, my pattern size based on my upper bust. A size 14 in simplicity, and actually in all the commercial patterns, is 36 for the technically full bust measurement. But that that's how I pick my size. It fits me really, really well. Obviously, my full bust measurement is anywhere between 39 and 40 inches, depending on the day. So um, I, it fluctuates wildly. So <laughs> It just kind of depends on, yes, if I'm retaining water or not. But um, the finished bust measurement, and this is written right here on the pattern, a finished bust for a size 14 is 39 inches, which on one of my good days is my actual bust measurement. Obviously, you need more than that. But because this is for a bust of 36 inches, that's a 3-inch ease in the bust, which is actually a pretty reasonable size Um pretty reasonable. I like at least two inches, but anywhere between two and three. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the ease in that the pattern was called for. Sometimes with commercial patterns, they get a little nuts, nutty with the ease and it's like insane. Um, so, you know, take that for what it is. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the three inches of ease. De again, depending. So um, I want, because my if my full bust is at 39 inches, um, even if it's at 40, I want at least 42 inches. So that's kind of where I'm going. I think if with 42 inches, I always want at least two inches of ease. If I just have, um, then if I have three inches of ease, depending on the day, that'll be fine as well. So I want at least 42 inches. So I'm going to add three inches to the bust, which means I'm going to add an inch and a half to each side. So an inch and a half, because um, you cut this out tw twice, obviously. So I'm just going to make a line here. Just kind of move that out of the way for a minute at an inch and a half and it's an inch and a half from you know this line here all right so now I'm just gonna swing this until this meets that line I want everything to lie flat and that right there looks really good so now I'm going to tape that down. All right. Okay. So now I'm just going to tape my arm. Now this makes a very uh, curved armhole. That's what you want. If you have a large bust, you'll notice if you're wearing a regular store-bought shirt, you get excess fabric will pull up there at your armhole. You'll get like a, a fold of fabric there. Um, you want this really tight curve. Now you can you can smooth that out a little bit, play with it a little bit, um, and it won't affect your sleeve at all. But that's why I do this first because that is the armhole that I want with my finished um, finished garment. So I want to trace that new curve. It's still the same length as it was, but I just want to. The sewing line is still the same length because we have hinged at the sewing line. I guess I should change that, which is the one you can't, you don't want to change. Okay, now we've got to reattach this little guy here. So I'm going to make a line. I'm actually going to continue my grain line down again. And then I have my line that I made here, my reference line. So... So now this will line up just like this. You just want those reference lines that allow you to true the pattern back up. So you're getting the length that you need so that that <laughs> um, pure waist hits you where it's supposed to hit. <laughs> and then we can just true up here. This is just a straight line here. A little trick here is just go from known point to known points. And what I mean by that is, uh, see, this is the 14, this top line here, which is the size I'm making. I just want to match that to this bottom one. And if we're off a little bit somewhere in the middle, 
we're just gonna go with it. And we shouldn't be that much, and we're not. That looks pretty good. All right, and then obviously down here is gonna be a little bit just because of the nature. So I'm actually just going to do that. And actually I shouldn't have even done that because we're still, we're gonna rotate our dart here in just a second. Oops, missed a little spot right there. Okay, so there's our pattern. So now we want to rotate this dart into this gathering area so that we're doing the gathering. So what we are going to do now is um, we want to cut basically up one of the lines. We're going to cut to here. Use this new point. We're going to cut up to here. And then I'm going to cut, it doesn't matter which, one of the legs of this dart that we have created. Okay, but we're going to leave a hinge at the dot. This is super easy. And actually, dart manipulation I find so fascinating. Okay, so I've cut up to the dot. I'm going to come over here. You can cut either dart leg, it doesn't matter. Cut to the dot. And now we're just gonna swing this closed. So we're swinging this closed and we just want it to just basically match right back up to where it was before. Okay, I'm just gonna cut some paper. Fill that in. And again, you don't really need to be too concerned with um, where, you know, apexes are. I mean, you want the general area, but um, you're not gonna have any darts where you're gonna have a weird point pointing to something where it's not supposed to. So actually, think, well, I'm glad I did that truing. So now we're going to true it again. Just take this over like so. Okay. So now we have added, now this looks like a ton, but now we've added the inch and a half fullness that we need at the bust, which is right here, which is where we want the fullness. We want the extra length. So that is all going to stay the same. Now you have two options here. If you need this extra space, into the waist, you can bring your um, gathering points in and that will give you the same amount being gathered into the same spot on the um, bottom. But if you do that, if you bring in your, so we've done an inch and a half. So if we brought it in three quarters of an inch and then three quarters of an inch in from the 14, um, you could do that, but then you would need to add an inch and a half somewhere to the skirt so that it matched up. So does that make sense? Or if you don't need to change the waist, and I believe um, I measured and the waist, because I had to shorten things and you shorten it right like below the waist, that gave me enough room because it kind of flares out a little bit that the waist, um, once I'd shortened it to three inches, was 36 and three, 36 and a quarter or 36 and three quarters, I can't remember, something like that, which is plenty of ease in my waist area. And then the hip was 42, which is, and that was written on the pattern. I had to actually measure the waist. That was not written on this pattern, which is a little annoying. Um, but that's enough for me. So I'm going to leave my gathering points at the same spot. So this excess here, I will just gather in, you know, there'll just be a lot more gathers into the spot onto the skirt. But the, that way the skirt stays the same, which I can allow that to happen. But then I have everything I need for my bust. So those are kind of the two ways that you can deal with that, depending on if you need extra weight space in the waist, which a lot of times I do need extra space in the waist if it's fitted, um, especially in the front, because that's where I carry my weight in the front of my waist. Um, anyway, that is what I'm going to do for that. Now, for the narrow shoulder adjustment... This is what I do. I'm going to put this on top of the pattern. And I'm going to draw, trace 
my size 14 armhole curve. Okay, and I also want to make sure and marking in my um, notch there. Okay, so there is my front armhole curve. Now I'm taking mine in, I think I said three quarters of an inch earlier. I was debating. I think I'm going to go, I went a full inch on the back. Okay, full inch. So now what I'm going to do, I've marked where I want my shoulder to be. This rotates, and trust me, I know I've had so many questions on this. Like, didn't you just change? Like, how big the armhole is? Nope, didn't. It's the same line. Everything stays the same. You don't have to do anything to the sleeve. You're, this is the cutting line, but the sewing line stays the same as well. Okay, so now, um, hopefully you can see through. I am, well, here, I'll do it this way. Lots of paper going on here. All right, so I am matching the top of the line up here to that mark I made one inch in. And then I'm going to put my finger here. I'm just going to rotate that. This is really hard to see. Until the um, side seam matches up with the side seam of, you know, my size. And it's going to raise the armhole which if you're doing a narrow shoulder adjustment, this is often a very good thing. Very rarely do you are, are you gonna have an issue with the armhole being too high. And this is the reason we mark our um, notch, because you're gonna, your notch moves. So you're basically, so there's my new armhole. So yes, it has raised it a little bit, quite a bit actually. And that's the same on the back. Raise it on the back as well. But this is, you're basically just tweaking the armhole, if that makes sense. So you're moving it in because you need that shoulder to be narrower because you're narrower in the shoulders and just tweaking things. And that does bring the armhole up. But a lot of times you need that because your, your shoulders indicate that you are petite. And that doesn't have anything to do with your weight or anything like that. Being petite is completely bone structure. So that is, you know, usually why you need to do that. Now, if you do have an issue with it being up too high and now your armhole is cutting into you, you might need to make a different size or um, then you're going to get into, if you're having to scoop out the armhole, then you will have to adjust your sleeve. So make a muslin, when in doubt, make a muslin. But now my front bodice is ready to go and uh, stay tuned and I will show you me in the finished dress. Hope this helped.